Yes, I want to let people know that I'm not just out as, as a marabout or as a prophet that just want to look for fame. God, as in his, in, in his infinite mercy, changed my life. And he, give, he, he, he gives me opportunity to let the world know that somebody who has done bad can still do good. God purged me, he cleansed me, and made me his vessel to come out and speak his mind. It's not only on politics that God has been using me, so many other areas, to so many people, including others. Big others in Yoruba land has enjoyed the benefit of grace, of prophecy from my life. But I do not go to them to collect money. God has asked me to focus on my evangelism, particularly to the prison ministry, where so many people have been released and handed over to me. Over 2,500 uh, ex-convicts has been rehabilitated by Prison Rehabilitation Mission International, of which I am the Director General. All these are works of the prophecy that God has given to me. I've been able to engage the seriousness through prophecy. People that are in the United States of America that have supported me through prophecy. And today we are working together. We are planning to have the first international African rehabilitation center in Nigeria. We are Ghana, all over African countries, we are going to work together with the support of my brother, my son, in the United States of America, Reverend Silas Falokun. He's in Texas, in, who's in Texas? He's a prison officer too. He's an educationist. We've been working together. Now God now move me into the area because I pray seriously. I lie down on the, on the, on the, on the rock. When there is sun, I will face sun and be asking God, reveal to me what you want to do. I suffered. I suffered for prophecy because God asked me to pray that he wants to reveal and that whatever comes out of my mouth shall come to reality. So it's not that I'm just talking. It is one day when you come, you are able to see me on the mountain, you will know. And not only me, hundreds of people. So that is where God developed me. And when I started, I was able to reach out. With I carry myself and Obate Gosho, climb that mountain together. The steps to climb. When you want to climb that mountain, in 754 steps, Baba Gun, Baba Ted Yosho climbed it. And we prayed there, and he had prophecy. Because prophecy is not just a one man show. You will hear people prophesying. Maybe one, two, or three people. People you don't know, they will just start from the crowd. Bye, Niolu not that I, something you, you, you add together or you look for people who will give you information about somebody. So God trained me. And I was able to meet people like Papa Magnus, a professor. He's, he's late now. I met him. I was able to stay under the tutelage of Papa, late I.G. Sapo the chairman of the Apostolic Church, Lona. I was able to meet and sit and get properly trained under Papa Orogun because these are the churches that believe in prophecy. Seriously, you don't joke with prophecy. So when the gift now has become part of me, God sent me out and I established my church. With the permission, I went back to Papa Sapo. I told them God has called me, and he said, what is the name given to me? I said, Christ 
Vessel of Grace Church. And he prayed for me. But I know if the nation Nigeria get it right, what God has asked me to do will be rewarded. So I want to say that prophecy is not ordinary. You must be trained. You must understand the nitty gritty. There are ingredients that are loaded in prophecy and it must be purely divine, undiluted. But when you, are, you become a commercial prophet, then you know that your reward, you have got it already. And that is when you will be doing it to get money. But now, I am looking unto God. Because the project we are into now is not a baby project. It is a project that will give Nigeria the succor, the peace, the unity. Because Tinumbu has told me, and God has told me about Tinumbu, that he will do it and he will succeed. So I am confirming to all Nigerians that I am not a commercial evangelist. I am not a commercial bishop. I am not a commercial pastor. I am saying the truth and nothing but the truth. And that is why I did not have the appellage a prophet. I am a bishop. I did not compete with all the prophets in the market, in the, in the, in the, in the community. I am a bishop, but God speaks to me. Thank you.